All right, buckle up. In this video, we'll be discussing some advanced concepts related to inheritance and polymorphism. Overriding, overloading, and hiding. And before we do so, we need to make sure that we understand what method signature is. The method signature is the name of the method and the parameter list. The names of the parameters in the parameter can differ, and it's still the same signature. But their types cannot differ. I mean, they can, but it's no longer the same signature. It's a new method signature now. Overriding is the process of providing a new implementation for a method that is inherited from a parent class. We have seen this with the eat method. The child classes dog and cat made a more specific implementation for their case. And when the method would be called on an object of type cat, the eat of cat would be used instead of the one in animal. In Java, you can use the add override annotation to indicate that you are overriding a method, like this. And if you paid close attention, you could already see that we were overriding. You see, next to the 5 here, there is this O with the arrow that's pointing up, and that's indicating that it overrides a method. And it actually specifies it when you hover over it. It says overrides method in animal. If I click it, I'm taking to the method that it overrides. And you can see here that it's being overridden, because it has the O next to it, and the arrow pointing down. The annotation is making sure that I'm overriding a method here. Whenever someone would try to go ahead and alter the method signature, for example, by adding a parameter, it will no longer compile because the annotation will lead to a compile error. It will simply notice that I'm no longer overriding, whereas I say that I am. And this is a problem. So this is why it no longer compiles. It says method does not override method from its superclass. Without the annotation, we were also overriding. But we would no longer be warned whenever someone comes by and changes their signature to a different parameter list, for example. Therefore, it's good to always add the annotation override when you're overriding. So, long story short, overriding is when you have the same method signature in the child class as you have in the parent class. Let's talk about overloading. Overloading is the process of providing multiple methods with the same name, but different signatures due to a different parameter list. And this can be done within the same class or between child classes and parent classes. It allows you to create multiple versions of a method that can be called depending on the number or type of arguments passed to it. For example, we could make another eat method. I could make an eat method that's going to take a string as an argument, like I already did just now. And then in here, I can go ahead and say dog is eating and then specify the food the dog is eating. Right now, this method is overloaded. And I can call both methods, but it chooses which one to pick based on the arguments I'm providing. So right now, when I'm going to change my dog back to dog, remove the dog as new cat because that was silly anyways. Right now, when I say dog.eat, no arguments, it's going to print dog is eating. But when I do provide an argument, it's going to use my newly made method. Let's say it's going to be eating meat. So right now, when I run this, you'll see that both implementations are being called. First time, dog is eating. Second time, dog is eating meat. And lastly, we need to understand hiding. Hiding is the process of hiding a static member of a parent class with a static member of the same name in the child class. Both properties and methods can be hidden. This hiding can be achieved by declaring a field or method with the same name in the child class and using the static modifier, of course. For example, in IntelliJ, I could give my public class animal a public static string. And then let's just go ahead and give it a type here. And I'm going to say the type is animal. 
I can go ahead and hide this type in my cat class. I can go ahead and say public static string type equals, of course, it's going to be a cat here. And of course, you need to spell string correctly in order for this to work. And I can go ahead and hide it in dog as well. So I can go ahead and say public static string type and then make it dog over here. And then, of course, you probably want to see what happens when I go ahead and print them. So I say dog dot type. And I'm going to say cats dot type. Please mind this is static, so it would actually be better to not do it on the instance as I'm doing it right now, but do it on the class like this. And you'll see that it's going to print the more specific version because we're hiding one from animal. In a very similar way, we could do this with a static method with the same name and same parameters. Whenever we call these static members, we'll see the version of the specific class we're calling them on. But when we call them from the animal class, we'll just get the version defined in the animal class. So overriding is between parent and child classes, where the same method signature exists in both. Overloading can be between parent and child classes, but can also happen within one class. It's when methods have the same name, but a different parameter list. Depending on with which arguments the method is called, a certain method gets triggered. And lastly, hiding is very much like overriding, same name between child and parent class, but then with the static fields and static methods. All right, so this is it for the basics of OOP. Make sure to get plenty of practice before we're going to move on with another very fun topic, namely constructors.